Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to glue in some kerf lining. Uh, I'm going to be gluing in some reverse kerfing lining, mahogany. Um, so I got all my stuff ready. I use the little plastic clamps. I get them at uh, Harbor Freight when they go on sale. They're pretty cheap. They seem to work pretty good. They're better than the uh, wood clothes pins which I used to use. Um, and I'll be using tight bond and I also have a, a damp sponge handy and I have a couple of paint brushes artist paint brushes that I use for cleaning up squeeze out afterwards and a shy glass of water if I need some water um, not to drink but to help clean up in a, in a paper towel to wipe up um, okay so Let's start, let's start off. First thing I'll do is pre-install the lining all the way around to get a measurement and, and then pull out a couple clamps and have them sitting here ready to go also. So let's uh, take a closer look. So I'll try to bend. I try to get this stuff not to break, but this mahogany seems to break a little bit more. I don't know, it's older mahogany that somebody gave me. Um, but I'll work it into the curves. There's snap there. So I'll get a couple clamps to put it in. To hold it while least I even measure it. This is almost like a little bit of a dry run. Right there. I can get it. Then I remove the clamps. I set them on the form here. And uh, I'll straighten out the edge with a razor knife. It's got any overhang that looks pretty good. Okay, um, then what I'll do if, if this stuff's all usually been sitting a while, I'll uh, the edge here already scraped with a, a cabinet scraper, or you could sand it, but you should always sand the, the, the faces of the the wood if it's been sitting more than a day or two because uh, oxidation will build up and won't help with the gluing so like on the old binding I'll, I'll, even, I'll get a razor blade or sandpaper usually just a razor blade and I'll scrape it I'm holding it at an angle so it doesn't go down into the curves but I'll uh, scrape and clean that surface all up freshen it up so there's no oxidation on it Then I have the strip done. I'll lay that 
there for now. I'll place some more clamps around the outside edge so I can get to them easier. putting the glue on. Uh, let me put some tunes on first. Take my finger off. 